I'm going to be teaching an online course about time management and I wanted to give you a quick overview of what the course is and see if you're interested in joining me for it. So I think of time management in terms of three areas and it might be a little different than what you have learned out there. So to me, time management is first and foremost about time awareness. Most of us have what's called time blindness, okay? especially if you deal with ADHD and, and that kind of thing. Time blindness is not being aware that time is slipping away and everything is just happening right now. And there's maybe like a spiritual benefit to that in some ways, but it's not a benefit to building a business successfully. So most of our day, we're in some kind of trance. We're on autopilot because whatever we're doing in front of us is probably something we're already uh, accustomed to doing. So we don't have to think about it, so that's why we're on autopilot most of the day. Like for example, when you're watching this video right now, you're on autopilot, you're in a trance until either you get bored or something external like a text message comes through that interrupts you. So what I hope to do in the first part of the time management course is to give you exercises and tools to develop greater time awareness so that you are more conscious of the minute slipping away which then gives you what I call more in-between moments. In-between moments are the times <clears throat> during the, uh, and I recommend at least two in-between moments per hour. And you could achieve this partly by using timers to remind you. But when you have an in-between moment, <clears throat> when there's a pause, you then are conscious of what you're doing and you're conscious to either say, I want to keep doing this or I want to spend my time better. And you're also more able to bring spirit and joy into whatever it is you are doing. So that brings us to the second part of my framework of time management. The second part is joyful action. Joyful action is the practice of bringing meaning and joy into any task that is in front of you. Whatever it may be, even if it's not something you're passionate about, you can still have meaning and joy in that task. So, for example, most of us dislike doing our taxes. Okay? Bookkeeping and taxes is something that most people do not, do not enjoy. But if you could practice and bring meaning and joy even into your most boring activities or your tedious activities, that is, to me, true success because then you will be enjoying your entire day. And if you learn how to bring meaning and joy into the task at hand, what that means is you will no longer procrastinate. Procrastination is the act of dealing with an anxiety about a task that is important and risky for us. But if you bring meaning and joy, if you learn how to bring meaning and joy into everything, that means you won't be procrastinating because even whatever it is that is so-called important and risky, you can still bring meaning and joy to it, and so you won't be procrastinating anymore. So that's my aim for this course, is to help you to no longer procrastinate because of joy, not because you are going to you know, pull yourselves up by your bootstraps or do anything that's harsh. It's about joy. So the third part of time management is what most people expect, and that is effective planning. So effective planning, in, in this part of the course, what I'm going to do is to show you my own calendar and, uh, sh and answer any questions you have about exactly how I spend my time. I'll also talk through how you might want to spend your time at whatever stage of business you're at. So effective planning, if you do it well, means that nothing will ever slip through the cracks. Everything that is important for building your business will get done and it's in your calendar, and I will help you to repair your relationship to your calendar because many people have had a uh, traumatized relationship to their calendar. You've had trauma when it comes to scheduling and deadlines and doing things on time. That's really unfortunate. We need to repair that. We need to heal that so that you can look at schedules and time and, and deadlines as something that is assisting you rather than something that is oppressing you. So that's part of the work that we're going to do inside the course. I hope this is interesting to you. If it is, the course is coming up. It's on January 15. 
And the link to it is www.georgecow.com. That's my name, georgecow.com slash time. That's it, simple, georgecow.com slash time. So anyway, hopefully uh, you'll be interested in this. Uh, either way, I, I wish you the very best going forward in managing your time with joy, with calmness, and with impact. So take care, and maybe I'll see you in the course. All right, be well.